republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Hello. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you let the record show that all commissioners are present for this meeting? And now we'll go ahead and entertain a motion to approve this agenda. I'll okay. make the motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll support that. And Mr. Chairman, I would like to add two agenda items. Uh, the first one would be called A1 under Finance and Administrative Committee. And it has to do with our audit. Um, we've been informed that we had that we we done we've done this, but we have to put it in our audit to make sure it's uh, correct. It's an OPEB payment, and we'll explain it when we get to it. But it's just uh, it's just just clean up another thing for the audit that we have to put in there. And that would be the first one. That would be called A1 under A under Finance. <coughs> And then we have a confidentially a confidential statement for uh, health and human services, and that would be item F for discussion and possible approval under health and human services committee agenda item F confidentiality. Thank you. Questions. Uh, concerns, discussion, or any other additions to the agenda for the vote? Hearing none, all in favor of the approval of the agenda signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, the agenda is approved with additions. We we'll right now move into our public comments section. Once again, I would remind uh, folks who are coming up uh, that we are limited to three minutes per speaker. Thank you for being here. We'll start off with Shelly Whitehead from Ovid, Michigan. Yeah, I've got one. Uh, we don't actually accept, so I'll have you give the packets to our board coordinator, and then he will disseminate to us. Thank you very much. Well, I, I'm, the reason I came is I'm um, concerned about the Wasso Speedway. In the last two meetings that I attended, um, we were told that if the Wasso Speedway goes to B2, that it still can go to B2 with some restrictions. And it's my understanding from listening to the Williams that their concerns are not with extending the racing, but rather to pursue other avenues. In light of that, I, um, I don't know how to get restrictions included with B2. So I just went through and wrote up a few things that I thought would be worth your taking a look at, which basically are what the two judges that have been involved in litigation with regard to the racetrack have allowed to happen, which would protect the property owners around the racetrack as well as the racetrack. Okay. Okay? So can I read these to you? Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, number one, only auto racing is allowed at the track. The auto race season will be from April 15th to October 1st. Races, including but not limited to the running of qualified heats, in which two or more cars are running on the track at the same time shall be limited to Saturday night between the hours of 6 p.m. until 12 midnight. Right now they have 7 to midnight. Um, I'm thinking if they could start earlier, they could get done earlier. And being late is a big problem. Um, with, um, with the premises vacated by 2 a.m. Sunday morning. Practice time on Saturday will be from 1 p.m. to 6 practice on Wednesday will be from 3 to 9. No racing of motorcycles, snowmobiles, trucks, or quads is permitted. Only one night of racing is permitted per week during the season. An exemption would be the two to or three day event at the end of the season using the above Saturday hours every day, each day. Any violation concerning the operation will result in a $400 fine each one half hour beyond the allowed time. Right now, this was included in the 2003 first consent judgment. And to my knowledge, even, can I ask a question? If, no. To my knowledge, there has never ever been a fine. And I'm relatively certain it's been complaints. Um, overnight camping is not allowed, uh, except during the two to three day event with proper permits, a schedule of events for each season shall 
be recorded with the county zoning administrator and published to the public prior to the season. No outdoor concerts are permitted. Owners shall apply for their um, comply with all federal, state, safety rules, statutes, regulations, and ordinances. And this shall be recorded with the register of deeds and applied to all subsequent owners. Again, you know, we're not too worried about these people, but what's going to happen down the road? I don't know how to do this, but I'm asking you to please consider it. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Ken Williams, would you like to address the board? Sure. I'm just here to answer any questions. I don't have anything to say that I haven't already said. If anyone has any questions, we'll be here to address. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Les Schneider, your admission. Thanks for letting me speak. It's been a long time. Uh, I just got out of a uh, VA meeting. I'm a member there. Uh, it was going along uh, fairly well since uh, we got to a point to where the chair, Mr. Nations, has brought up the fact that I had not signed the County uh, Privacy Act. Uh, confidentiality, that's where you're not supposed to uh, speak about anything outside uh, the meeting, you know, about individuals and such. Uh, I had signed a VA form uh, for Privacy Act. Uh, but Mr. Nations did not want to accept that. Um, he got a little upset and I'm going, well, what's the problem? He says, I already signed one. And he says, well, you got to sign this one. And I, I told him I don't agree with that because there's things in the uh, privacy statement you have in front of you that I do not agree with. I do agree with it completely. It is with the uh, Privacy Act and uh, be careful not to spell, uh, you know, spill the beans on any uh, veteran, you know, that's out there. And majority of you know that I'm a real pain in the butt when it comes with dealing with the vets. Yes, Jeremy, I'm looking right at you, you son of a gun. Is it okay? So uh, uh, it's not like anything is ever going to happen. That's just what. Uh, Anyway, at a certain point, uh, Mr. Nations has demanded that I sign it, or I would have to, have to leave. At which point, I'm going, this is an open meeting. Everybody is, in, uh, is invited and welcome to be in this meeting. Everything that was in that book, which I talked to Mr. Reese, the director up there, is, is uh, now that everything is redatted, there is no privacy uh, uh, issues. As is, so what's the problem here? Uh, and basically he got, uh, he, was, he was upset, as in saying he got a meeting close and just walked out. Leaving the majority of everybody else sitting there going, well, what about the vets? Because we did have claims that should have been worked today uh, to help vets in need. And that was pretty much it. As it is uh, stated, as Reeves stated that that letter in front of you uh, was, had been authorized by Mr. Boggs and our prosecuting attorney. And I learned a long time ago dealing with lawyers, if they don't put the name on it, it never happened. As is, so is that just some, something that got dreamed up? Or is that something that did go through the process and nobody just bothered to sign it? And so I asked for uh, clarity. So right now the meeting did not get help, uh, you know, help anybody, and uh, that's where we sat. Okay. I thank you very much. Cindy was there. She can. Uh, Explain. I have done my best, Les. Okay. Thank you for your time. That's all I asked for. <laughs> Is there anybody else who would like to address the board at this time? 
All right, hearing none, we'll go ahead and move now into our committee monthly uh, motions and reports. We'll start off with Finance and Administration Committee. Commissioner Plum. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, Dr. Boggs, would you want me to do A1 first and then we adopt? Please. Yes, I thought so. Um, one of the things we had on our agenda is a, is a motion. I need a, I need a motion to make the OPEB payment, which concerns health care for retired sheriff's deputies, to an account. And the savings will come from the health care, but through savings from 44 North. So I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Motion and second to add OPEB. Yeah, Actually, it's already added to adopt it. Yeah. Um, questions, yeah. discussion, further discussion? Yeah, so we have, we have a health care savings plan, and so we need to make the payment for it. It's one of the items that we have to check on our box uh, when we submit our audit forms to the state, uh, and so we need to make this for last year. So yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Any questions, discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of moving item A-1 forward to a final vote to tomorrow, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. That motion will carry to tomorrow. And then I will make the motion A, um, to adopt the 2020 audit and place it on file. Support. Motion and support for item A, adopting 2020 audit, placing it on file. Questions, discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Make the motion to approve the contract amendment with Hiring Solutions LLC in the amount not to exceed five thousand dollars. Support. Motion to support for item B. Questions, discussion over this item. None. All in favor of item B, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I move to authorize the sheriff to hire one new sheriff's deputy. For the terms outlined in the contract between the Shiawassee County and the Teamsters. Support. Item C moved and supported. Discussion, questions? Okay, hearing none. All in favor of item C, moving forward, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Motion carries. Move to approve the purchase of the Dell Network Storage Array and related equipment in the amount not to exceed $67,943. Support. Motion for item D and a support. Questions or discussion over item D? Is this the item that was unbudgeted? This is unbudgeted, but it is a necessary emergency purchase. It's not, not the, something they foresaw then when we were budgeting last no, year? No, the hardware. Right. Oh, okay. So it's actually the, a storage array, as I understand it, is a series of virtual servers and it runs all of our software that we use like microfiche, uh, ESNA, different things like that and it's stored on site here but because the storage array failed they've been hosting it on some RESD related servers to, until such time as we can replace ours. Okay so do you, did they ever say how old that equipment was? That Four failed? years. Four years old and it already failed. Do we get insurance on something like that? Uh, or we're buying a new $70,000 equipment that could fill in four years? This, this one we do have. Yeah, we have a five-year warranty on the new one. That's ridiculous. My opinion. Is there any other companies that have a raise like this? I mean, is this the same company we just no. bought it from? No. Okay, good. I'd like to know that company so I can never do business with them again. This one comes with a warranty for five years. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other discussion? Or horrified commissioners. <laughs> uh, item D. All in favor of moving this forward to tomorrow signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. One day, motion carries. I move to approve the replacement of a maintenance one position, grade three. It means moved and supported. Questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of item E, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries, one nay. I move to approve the friend of the court to fill the position of account clerk secretary at a paid grade three, level one, with a DC plan. Support. 
left on the floor. It's been supported. Questions, discussion? Very talkative group. Okay, all in favor of item F moving forward, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. One nay. Item carries. I move to approve the replacement of a district court deputy clerk at a pay grade three. Support. G. Moved and supported. Questions, discussion? All right. Item G, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Aye. Motion carries with a nay. I move to confirm the chief judge, judge's appointment of Michael Herodine as the district court magistrate. Support. Item H, been moved and supported. Questions or discussion over the item? Hearing none. Uh, no, oh, oh, oh. Here, oh, go ahead. <coughs> oh, we're going to hire him back, and he was our coordinator, and we fired him. So that's my question. Anybody else got anything else on that? Anybody else? Okay, hearing none. All in favor of item H moving forward to tomorrow, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Same aye. sign. Aye. aye. Three nays. Item H carries. Mr. Chairman, that concludes my report. All right, thank, thank you for, for that report, Commissioner Plowman. We'll now move into our Econ and Physical Development Committee. I am the Chairman. Uh, chairman Root, would you please throw my motions up for me? I will. Thank you, sir. I move to approve ordinance number 21-06-02 to amend the Shiawest County zoning map for the stated property located in section 14 of Middlebury Township from A2 to B2 and authorize the board chair to execute all necessary documents. Support. I may move and support it. Questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of moving item A forward on to tomorrow, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Motion carries. I move to approve the bid from Keeves Concrete, the amount not to exceed $3,950 for the replacement of the steps and landing at the Captain Building. Support. Item B, moved and supported. Plowman or Garber, take your pick. Uh, questions or discussion? Very in-depth discussion on Monday about how much we needed this. All right, item B, all in favor of moving it forward, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I move to approve the bid for collard concrete in the amount not to exceed $107,224 to install a concrete parking lot at the whole housing building. Support. Item C, moved and supported. Questions or discussion? My only issue with this is that it was unbudgeted at the beginning of the year. It's a lot of money for me to approve something like that that we didn't budget. So. Hearing no other discussion, all in favor of moving item C forward, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Aye. Motion carries with one nay. Concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This time we'll move on to our Public Safety and Courts Committee. Chairman of that committee is Commissioner Broder. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I move to approve the bid from Keeves Concrete for replacing jail steps and ramp at an amount not to exceed $8,400. Okay. Support. Or, item A, moved and supported. Commissioner Webster. Questions or discussion? Apparently the steps are bad, the rails are bad. That sums it up. No, that was the cap jam building. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one's in the concrete. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hearing no other discussion, all in favor of moving item A on uh, to our next uh, final board meeting, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Motion carries. Uh, I move to <coughs> approve the lease file purchase of a 2017 Dodge Charger from Acme Auto Leasing LLC. Support. Item B, moved and supported. Questions or discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Aye. Motion carries. One nay. And I move to approve the chairman's appointment of Kay Nichols to the 911 board. Support. Item C moved and supported. Question. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Motion carries. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Broder. And now we'll move on to our Health and Human Services Committee report. Chairman of that committee is Commissioner Garber. Thank, Thank you. I would move that we approve the contract between the Shiawassee County Health Department and the Shiawassee Regional Education Service District 
for reflective supervision services for the Maternal Infant Health Program in an amount not to exceed $2,700 for the period of July 1st, 2021 to June 30th, 2022, and authorize the board chair to sign all necessary documents. Support. I may move and support it. Questions, discussion? Contract renewal? All right. All in favor of moving it forward, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I would move that we approve the contract between the Shiawassee County Health Department and the City of Owasso for COVID-19 vaccination of homebound individuals for the period of May 1st, 2021 to April 30th, 2022, and authorize the board chair to sign all necessary documents. Support. Item B moved and supported. Questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. One nay, motion carries. I would move that we approve the contract between the Shiawassee County Health Department and Corona Area Ambulance Service for COVID-19 vaccination of homebound individuals for the period of May 1st, 2021 to April 30th, 2022, and authorize the board chair to sign all necessary documents. Support. Item C, moved and supported. Questions or discussion? Kind of mirrors item B. All right, hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries, one nay. I would move that we adopt the 2020 Health Department Annual Report and place it on file. Support. Motion support. You guys have seen it. Very nice. Good job this year, everyone in that department, getting us through COVID and more. Uh, so hearing no other discussion, all in favor of adopting, placing on file, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Be placed on file. Cares. I would move that we approve the chairman's appointment of Charles Adams to the Valley Area Agency on Aging Board. Support. I me moved and supported. Questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. That concludes my report. Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. All right. So I would move that we uh, have all board members appointed to the Veterans Board sign a confidentiality agreement. Support. A motion to support for an item F on confidentiality. Uh, this is open for discussion. Mr. Painter, could you give us a brief uh, understanding of what is in front of us here? So I did not draft this particular document, but I have reviewed it. Uh, I know Mr. Schneider suggested that there were some items in this confidentiality agreement that were uh, debatable to him. But I've seen literally hundreds of confidentiality agreements in my career, and there's nothing in here to me that's objectionable. It's, it's about as vanilla as it, as it gets, and frankly, given that the Veterans Affairs and Services Board is dealing with uh, a vulnerable population of Shiawassee County veterans who have medical ailments, who have uh, uh, social ailments and poverty, these are things that are no one else's business but those veterans and the board that is trying to help them. So, I, I, I guess I fail to see why someone serving on such a board would decline to sign a confidentiality statement, especially one that is as tame as this one. Okay. <clears throat> so the crux of it is they're dealing with sensitive information. You're not allowed to hear that information in the meeting and then go out into the public and discuss that That's information. Great. So I guess I do have one question. How do we handle the public being in an open meeting? It's an open meeting, right? When that information is discussed, so well, how do they not hear it? This this agreement is not just for things that are discussed in the open meeting. As, my, as I understand it, members of that board are given booklets or packets of information mm -hmm. that contain a, a lot of detailed information, social security numbers, health data, uh, some of which is covered federally by things like HIPAA, this sort of piggybacks on all of those, gathers it together in a simple agreement, a simple two-page agreement that you can sign. And you're simply promising you're not going to go talking out of school, talking about or disclosing 
people's personal business, whether it's to your friends, families, at the bar, whatever. So people in the open meeting wouldn't necessarily be privy to this information. No. This isn't board packets and such. Correct. That's correct. Okay. Yes, you're, you're given, board members are given their entire like listing of monthly expenses, how much they spend on groceries, how much their um, cable TV is. Um, but I would also say that I serve on the Capital Area Community Services Board. I've served on that board for three years. And as a board member, I am required to sign a confidentiality agreement. I don't know what it says because I didn't read it. I just signed it, turned it in. I'm clearly not going to say anything. I have no issue with signing that. Their attorney did not sign it. it, it it's just a straightforward, come to the meeting, don't repeat what you hear. Okay. So this is not unique to the Veterans Board. Okay. Mr. Chair, if I could also address that last point about whether or not corporate counsel signed this particular document yeah. uh, in, and, and not sign the, the statement as in sign it, uh, like the members are being asked to sign it, but to somehow sign off on it. Uh, I prepare a lot of documents for the county. I, I think I have yet to sign any of them. No, I don't sign any of them. And we also at my firm represent a number of other counties and municipalities. We do not uh, make it a habit to sign or initial or somehow stamp every individual document that we prepare for the clients. That would be uh, somewhat out of the room. Does anybody else have questions or discussion over this added item? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right. Hearing uh, hearing that, no other discussion. All in favor of uh, this added item moving on to tomorrow for a final vote, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. The motion carries. All right. Now that concludes my report. Thank you very much, Commissioner Garber. And Mr. Board Chair, I'll turn over the floor to you at this time. We have gone through our personnel policy. Um, we concluded with our meetings. We're taking, I believe, a three week, four week, taking a month off from to kind of put everything together, come back with the final copy. Um, one of the agenda items that we passed today or moving on to tomorrow about the extension of that contract for the Human Resource Solutions Group is there also kind of helping us to put it together. So we'll have that prepared and we'll, we're going to reconvene July 8th for that committee to meet one last time to kind of put the last uh, finishing touches on our updated personnel policy and we'll have that brought to the board in July. Um, the human resource individual is going to uh, attend leadership to kind of give a, an overview of what they've done and found and things they've seen in the county. So we look forward to that report. and. The board will also get that report. So, um, the human resources uh, venture is going pretty well so far. I think it's turned out better than we expected. And um, other than that, we, you know, I, I feel like we're just we're just continuing to be bombarded with uh, FOIA requests that have become. I mean, I guess in, in the mind of an individual, it's important to them, but they've become certainly quite frivolous, and they're requesting things that aren't even documents that government entities would have to begin with, but they believe that there is. I mean, they tasked our, our county clerk with finding a statute on whether the sheriff can use uh, trustees or jail inmates to do business or to do job sites or work chain gang type thing. I mean, and that was 20, 125 years ago is when that was adopted by the Board of Supervisors. The clerk's staff had to spend 80 plus hours hunting that down through records, handwritten records, by the way. I wish we had a copy of the thing to show. It's this big. It's handwritten. And to read all of these books, and, and then the Argus Press doesn't even account for the time that our clerk put in for it just simply tries to say we're charging individuals $2,000 or $3,000 for a two-page document. Well, it took time. It took time to do. Uh, Dr. Boggs made a comment to the Argus. They refused to put it in the paper. They did not even reach out. Did they reach out to the county clerk? Didn't reach out to the county clerk who did the work on the item. 
But my God, it made front page of the Argus Press how bad the county is for wasting and spent wasting taxpayers' money and trying to force them to pay three thousand dollars for a document we have no business charging them for. Eighty some hours of staff time to look for something. Eighteen ninety-five. In eighteen ninety-five, we're looking to recoup our time, and you know maybe maybe we're not allowed to, maybe we can't, but. What a waste of time and everybody's effort here to not even have the full story, but run with it on their front page as though it was one side of the story as always. Anybody that reads the Argus should start understanding it's one side, it's their narrative, and if you don't like it, you're not going to get a comment. They're going to put whatever they want in there. So I just it's just frustrating to deal with this, this crap day in and day out. It's all personal attacks. It has nothing to do with county government. It has nothing to do with county business. It had nothing to do with how anyone up here or anyone elected in this county does their job. It's BS that continues to get flooded into the Dr. Boggs' office. I mean, they may think he sits there and does nothing, but he has a lot of work he has to do. And sitting there dealing with this crap about whether we're following someone around and keeping tabs on them, we don't have enough time in the day. And one, and another thing, the person's not that important, that we're all that interested in funding them and finding what they're doing. So it's just, I mean, it's, it's nothing I'm sure that the audience has any clue about, but it's like we keep dealing with it. I know they're probably watching the camera. They're probably loving it. They're loving that they're annoying us. They love that they're taking time away from actually getting work accomplished. And they've got their people in the county that work and help them out. So... Just that I guess for them watching, they can know we've, we're, we're on notice and we know what they're doing. It's just been a long month. Yeah, go ahead. Um, if, if, you, if you have to go look at old records, our old records that go way back are in the attic of the courthouse. And it's a warm place in summer and it's a cold place in winter. Those books, the pages are yellow. They're handwritten from time began until they started typing. And I was we had two employees and the clerk spent, actually, we learned today it was more than 88 and a half hours. That's all that you put down. But even to find it was, was really something. I mean, it's, you should see the paperwork. You have to have a magnifying glass to figure out sometimes exactly what the wording is. And sometimes there's notes to they're all handwritten. And it's the original handwritten. And they're yellow and they're very fragile and they're faded. I commend the clerk for finding that. And then I'm going to make another comment. The state passed that law. The sheriffs could use trustees for activities. Okay. Then the county could say no, the sheriff can't. Or, there's, or the county could say yes, he can. But if the county didn't say anything, it was state law. So that's what it is. So they spent 88 and a half, 90, 100 hours looking, and we receive a lot of this all the time. We have people that are looking for little loopholes to sue us and get your tax money. That's what they're at. Well, and then we're dealing with an office that's underhanded and short to begin with, and then you take 90 hours away from the counter. People want to know why they're waiting in line to get their documents, why they're waiting in line to get a birth certificate, a death certificate, is because they're hunting down books in the, in the attic, and they're down one person. They're down two people having to deal with this. I mean, it's just... Nevertheless, they got it. Thank you. They found it. They, they did it. They did it. They did it, and they didn't complain about it. Interesting they did it. Reader. Very interesting reading. <laughs> they did it, but... Mr. Chair, I'd like to offer one comment on that, only because I have a lot to do with our FOIA responses and this particular matter. You know, I, I have heard some suggestion that, um, or, or someone could maybe misunderstand that spending all this time looking for the document, that the document was somehow misplaced or wasn't where it was supposed to be. The, the clerk's records are exactly where they're supposed to be. The reason this was so difficult to find is because all we had to work with was a time frame. This was a resolution based on a public act that I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that was from 1846. 
So our clerk went above and beyond the call of duty to try to find a handwritten resolution that, and I, I, I can tell you, I'm the master of bad handwriting. I couldn't read this thing. I don't know how anyone on your staff could read it. It was incredible. She had to go through a little over a century and a half worth of documents. That, theoretically, that's what it would have been. Until they finally got up to the point in 1895 where they found this handwritten, barely legible resolution on old yellow paper, well over a century old. That was what they had to go through to find that document. And it was exactly in the, fo the folio of clerk's records where it was supposed to be. It wasn't misplaced, it wasn't mislaid, but we don't have the money to digitize all of those records. And if we keep paying out for FOIA losses, we certainly never will. But that, it was absolutely a frivolous request in my opinion. And I, and I applaud the clerk for finding it, because I would not have been able to. If I could just make one comment, <clears throat> I think what, what I've gathered from all this is that month after month, year after year, we all know that our clerk is um, understaffed, could use some more help. But yet, in that article, the Argus Press not once reached out to our clerk, who is the keeper of the records, to clarify exactly what we just said here. And I, I kind of wonder why that is. I don't think I mean, were you unavailable for comment for some reason, Carolyn? No. Um, out of the office, out of, out of town, couldn't be reached for comment? No. I didn't think so. I don't think any of us wonder. There are certain, know, certain media sources in this county that are shoddy and, and should be discredited at every corner. I won't name them, but they've become a joke, and fake news is a real thing here in Shiawassee County. It is. It's and absolutely. It's, and in, in my opinion, Shiawassee County is, is not anti-law enforcement. We're a community that does not want to defund our police or attack our law enforcement. We want to do just the opposite. Anybody else? Thank you, Board Chair, for that report. We'll move on to our coordinator's report. Now you get to go. <laughs> in addition to those, the aforementioned things that you guys talked about that we've been working on. Uh, we have completed the audit. All of this information will be submitted to the state uh, after tomorrow's meeting and you pass it. That means all of our documents will be on time and turned in, not only on time, but early for the first time. Can we interrupt for just a minute? That should have been on the front page of the Argus, not the garbage that is. Thank you. Sorry. That, it will be the first time in several years that it is not only on time, but early. Um, and then our year is kind of divided into kind of two segments, if you will. There's until June 30th, we should be working on things from the previous year, closing out the books, completing the audit. And then beginning July 1, we should start looking ahead to 2022, in addition to all through the year working on the year that you're in. So beginning in uh, July, and you will have a budget memo from me to approve for next uh, month. We will start working on the budget for 2022 and we'll start making some projections so that we can get that approved and done uh, in the fall uh, and get the budget approved. And lastly, I would uh, uh, compliment Caroline on being able to find that resolution. It was not easy. And if the chair allows, uh, if she has any comments uh, about the work that she undertook to do it. While I am the FOIA coordinator, I literally just coordinate and uh, these documents are often in different offices that we have to get them from. I'm just the central point of contact. And Caroline uh, went through to find them. Okay. Well, it really, the collaborative, the collaborative effort was with the staff. Because when my 22-year-old could read the beautiful penmanship, I said, we're going to stop your training on, we got her through the CPL and stopped any further training. That's the kind of thing Chairman Ruth's talking about. We stopped her training so that I could put her full time from any CPL work on to reading those books. I do have something I'll bring tomorrow to read and it is so funny. We found it in the 1800s and it's like, this is the kind of stuff that sold papers. It, sure. our, our, it's a little, little article, but we found, it was interesting reading, beautiful penmanship. And it is, we all agree, the five of us, that to see the history, to see how there were two buildings, to see how things have come into place was very interesting, to say the least. 
All right, sounds like good work all around. Uh, at this time, we'll go ahead and move into our final opportunity for the public to address the board. Uh, is there anyone who would like to address the board at this time? Mr. Leschnack, you have the floor. Uh, in response to uh, some things were just said as far as the privacy, uh, my only problem was uh, the verbiage that they used on that page and a half form that they keep they dreamed up. Uh, that's the one of the, 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 the issues that I have probably uh, staple to that is the VA privacy form, which I did sign. So why they're getting all bent out of shape about this? Uh, is I, I'm completely uh, on board with the, the Privacy Act. And the reason is, is this form came out is because earlier in the year, you all know that I was having a, a bit of a feud with the uh, uh, VA committee and office about privacy. And a lot of that stuff that's in their version come right out of that uh, grievance that we had. As is in, that's what my problem is, is, is uh, uh, protecting our veterans' privacy. Uh, privacy is not most in everybody's mind. As is so, uh, I don't think that I should be forced into signing something I don't believe in uh, entirely. As I do believe in everything with the VA and their policies, which is nationwide. As is uh, just a difference of opinion with the locals. That's all it is. Anybody else? Okay, this meeting's adjourned.